friends, and today we'll discuss about the ethical principles of research. In doing research, how can we say that we have done the right thing? Can we strike a balance between what is right and what is moral? Are the things we have done widely accepted by the community? All of these questions somehow will be answered as we discuss about the ethical principles of research. Now let's differentiate ethics and morality. So ethics is anchored on the moral standards that we follow, while morality is a set of unwritten rules that guides us on the things that we should or should not do in order to attain harmony and order in any undertaking. Ethics is important in research. Why? Because it keeps the researcher from committing errors while seeking knowledge and truth. It promotes essential values that help researchers working on a topic to have a common understanding of how things should go. Since research may involve experts coming from different fields of expertise, ethics binds them together by considering the important values such as accountability, cooperation, coordination, mutual respect, and fairness among others. So here are some research ethic rules. First on the list is be honest. As a researcher, we should maintain intellectual honesty in all times, especially in reporting findings in our investigation. Second is, let's be objective. Being objective means avoiding bias in research at all times. Next on the list is be a person of integrity. We should be consistent with all our thoughts and actions. We should act with sincerity and should be able to keep our words true. And then, followed by be caring. We should be after the welfare and benefit of our subject, especially when dealing with humans and animals as subjects. Be open. Be willing to share your ideas, results, and resources. Also, be willing to accept suggestions and comments for the improvement of your work. Be careful. Ideas of others must be acknowledged. We should treat our colleagues fairly and justly. Be trustworthy. We should keep confidently of all data and information obtained in our research unless otherwise needed to be known by the public. Be responsible. Consider the legalities, rules, and regulation of an institution or government when conducting a study. Be of help in publishing a research which aims to advance knowledge and which could help promote social welfare. Minimize harm and risk, and maximize the benefits for the target population. We need also to understand ethical consideration in animal research. Some animal rights and animal welfare advocates are trying to justify that it is not necessary to involve animals in research, while some group of researchers would say that it is better to use animals to minimize the harm for human beings. The debate about research involving animals has two fundamental questions. First, does the scientific use of animals lead to valid, useful, beneficial, and relevant results? Second, is it allowable for one species to cause pain, suffering, and death to another to achieve benefits for the former species. Now, let's talk about the rights of human research participants. Rights to voluntary participation. All human participants should participate in research study out of their free will. And also, 
the right to informed consent. All participants must know all things above the research they will be participating in. They should be informed of all procedures, risks, and potential benefits the researcher will bring to participants. Right to be protected from harm. It is the researcher's responsibility to protect the participants from any form of harm that may affect them. Right to confidentiality. All personal information about the participants shall be made confidential and should not be brought out to the public. Next is right to anonymity. The participant may choose not to disclose his or her information or identity to anyone, including the researchers themselves. In research, there is also the so-called scientific misconduct. As researchers, we are expected to follow the rules and the proper conduct of making the research. All the ethical considerations must be adhered to. Moral and social values are always considered and should be given much importance. And here are the areas of scientific dishonesty. One is the fabrication and falsification of data. This is sometimes called as cooking the data. Here, data are produced without actual experimentation or the data is altered in recording. Two, non-publication of data. In contrast with the first, this time, instead of making up data that will support hypothesis, the researcher choose not to include the data gathered from the participants which do not conform for, to the hypothesis. 3. Faculty Data Gathering Procedures This can be brought about by errors in measurements or error in the measuring equipment. This may also be caused by an inappropriate treatment of the subjects invalid procedures and poor data recording. 4. Plagiarism. This refers to using of others as your own. Plagiarism is an act of owning one's ideas or work or publication as your own. This happens very often especially in scientific publications.